So for now, our experiments with this car have ended. We've tried to see what is the voltage it can take and 36 volts is way too much for it. This started life as a 6 volt, it then went to 12 volts, it then went to 24 and then these batteries I think are about 26. Uh, it ran okay with the 26 volt but as soon as we went to 36 and we kind of went full throttle a bit maybe too much, yeah, that's when smoke started coming out and it's probably just the plastic melting and we've kind of broken the motors which is okay because we can get motors that are rated to a higher temperature and maybe even put some cooling fans because I think there's not enough cooling here. So what do you think George? What do you want to do with this car? I want to make it a bit more better so we can't smoke. Okay. And I don't want to go too fast. You don't want to go too fast. So was it too fast? I don't want to make it go broken again. So was it too fast today? Yes. Yeah? Too fast. Too fast. But if it can go that fast without smoking, do you want it to go that fast? Uh, slower. You want it slower. But you can control it. Why didn't you go slower? Because... I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well... We'll see what we can do in the next video. In our excitement with the 36 volt battery, we managed to weld this shut and I think we burnt out this motor. It was making a very bad noise and a fair bit of smoke came out. So we're going to put a different battery in it, a smaller battery, and then um, yeah, just see how, uh, how it runs. So I've just hooked up my... Uh, two drill batteries and they seem to work so uh, we're just gonna try and go slowly so maybe 12 volts just doesn't turn the controller on maybe the controller needs higher than 12 volts so that motor is going fine but this one is not that motor, slow speed, it's turning with no problem. This one here is not really doing anything, but, but get hot. See, it's trying to... Ah, actually what has happened is the motor is spinning, but the fan inside it is probably what has melted so it's got a little fan i don't know if you're gonna see it on the camera so there's a little fan inside there and on this motor it's spinning on this motor It's not. The wheels are spinning, it's just that fan that keeps it cool has melted itself onto the body. So uh, I don't know if it's worth trying to fix these motors or just get better ones that are rated to 24 volts or higher. Right, so in the last video um, we put a new controller in the car with a different pedal so we can control the speed from the pedal unlike the on off switch from the previous setup we've tried two 12 volt batteries giving us 24 volts these batteries are a bit dead so it didn't last very long and it wasn't quite as fast as i had hoped we then tried two uh, drill batteries i put them in series i made this wooden box for it and these are very good but we managed to break one of them these are already very old i think they're at least eight years old by now so today we're gonna try a 36 volt battery now these motors initially this car was a 6 volt and then we changed it to a 12 volt so the motors in here all are 12 volt 30,000 rpm and we're gonna use a 36 volt battery now I know the motors can take I know the motors can take 12 volts, uh, sorry, I know the motors can take about 12 volts continuous, 
I'm not sure about 36, so I'm, I'm a bit worried that we might burn out the motors. But, uh, you know, if, if they do burn out, we'll just get some 24 or 36 volt motors instead.